This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1243, Finding Yourself Through Travel and Having a Plan or Entire Lack Thereof, both by Leon Logothetis of leonlogothetis.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Tuesday, welcome back to Optimal Living Daily or the OLD podcast, where I read to you from some of the best blogs I can find and get permission from. And this episode is brought to you by Hask. Hask hair care products are used on more Hollywood film and TV sets than any other brand. Hask offers high-performance formulas at affordable price points, including shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, shine oils, and dry shampoos that are designed to treat and repair all hair types and made from high-quality ingredients sourced from around the globe. Free of sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and gluten, plus cruelty-free, Hask products are available at Walgreens. Shop now in-store or online at walgreens.com and learn more at haskbeauty.com. For now, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Finding Yourself Through Travel by Leon Logothetis of leonlogothetis.com. Many of us get caught up in our daily routines. Examples might include hopping off to school, work, exercising, and making sure the little ones get to bed on time. We tend to find comfort in our daily routines. However, this doesn't leave much opportunity for self-discovery because we rarely take the opportunity to step outside of our comfort zones. I have found that one of the greatest ways we can experience self-discovery and find out more about ourselves and our identity is by traveling. In fact, a few of the ways that traveling can help you find out more about yourself are, traveling teaches patience. In the age of instant gratification and advanced technology, we often expect everything to happen for us instantly. We complain about delays at the airport, hate waiting for food in the cafeteria, and even get upset about commercials. I can relate to this one. When we travel, we quickly learn how to be more patient as we may experience delays in our travel and issues with the weather that disrupt our plans, typhoons. Traveling also teaches us not to get upset at things that are out of our control. By discovering patience, we bring this skill to our everyday lives. Yippee! Traveling increases confidence. Being courageous takes confidence, and traveling certainly teaches this. Many of us are scared when we leave our homes for the first time, especially if we are headed to another country where English isn't the primary language. Travelers often find gratification as we look at our passports and see all of the stamps, think about the important challenges we've overcome to get to this point, and reflect on how much we have learned about the world during our travels. When we bring these experiences back home, we understand that we have become better prepared for the challenges of everyday life, psychotic Boston Terriers not included. This kind of confidence encourages us all to be more courageous in the future. Traveling forces people to reflect on their identity. Those of you who have traveled before will undoubtedly support the belief that traveling forces us to reflect on what's important in life, what's really important. Traveling encourages us to find fulfillment in things that are typically outside of our worldview. We experience new cultures, view wonders of the world, and learn to appreciate what we have. In turn, this forces us to understand that material possessions do not hold the same importance as the values that these experiences teach. In this manner, we will find out more about ourselves than we ever thought possible. Traveling forces improved independence. One of the characteristics that many people are trying to find on their voyage of self-discovery is the ability to be more independent. It is comfortable for us to rely on others to help us through our daily routine However, many of us would ultimately like to be more independent because this independence comes with improved freedom and freedom is awesome. When we travel, we learn to fend for ourselves because we often don't know any of the people around us. This allows us to develop improved problem-solving skills and step outside of our comfort zone. Invariably, we come back home with improved life skills that we can then apply to our everyday routine. Traveling teaches compassion. When we travel, we are often astounded by how welcoming others are. While other people might not know an unfamiliar face, that would be us, they are often willing to give visitors the benefit of the doubt because they are eager to teach others about their culture and lend a helping hand to those unfamiliar with the territory. This is a truly valuable lesson in compassion that we can all learn. Finding that compassion inside of ourselves for others, your fellow human beings, is one of the greatest benefits of traveling. 
And I have another post from Leon in just a sec, but first, thank you to Hask. Hask hair care products are used on more Hollywood film and TV sets than any other brand. Hask offers high-performance formulas at affordable price points, including shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, shine oils, and dry shampoos that are designed to treat and repair all hair types, made from high-quality ingredients sourced from around the globe. Hask's Biotin Boost Thickening Collection features a triple thread of ingredients sure to give fine, lifeless strands the lift they need. Biotin helps strengthen, volumize, and thicken to maintain hair health. Coffee stimulates the hair follicles, helping to boost strands, and collagen helps strengthen and fortify the hair shaft to protect from damage and breakage. Together, they enhance the appearance of thicker hair without leaving it feeling heavy. I've been sharing it with others, and the first comment was how great it smells thanks to their ingredient-inspired fragrances. All Hask products are free of sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and gluten, while formulated to meet the needs of your specific hair type. The Hask Biotin Boost Thickening Collection is available at Walgreens. Shop now in-store or online at walgreens.com. And for more information on Hask's complete line of hair care solutions, please visit haskbeauty.com. And we thank them for sponsoring the podcast. Having a plan, or entire lack thereof, by Leon Logothetis of leonlogothetis.com. Planning how to live your life or just going with the flow of things and events as each day comes applies to people in different ways. Many of us have probably heard that it is essential for one to know exactly where they are going in life and therefore make plans to help them move in that direction. We have been taught that in order to achieve what we desire in life, we have to set goals, plan, and act on our plans in order to attain everything we want. But is that really the case? Do we really have to plan for every step of our life? I would say no. Life is all about having fun and letting go at times. Both planning for life and allowing things to play out themselves have pros just as they both have cons. Whichever you prefer to follow along is really up to you. In most cases, your personality will fit into one of the two more naturally. Some people love to intertwine the two and it generally works well for them because they can be able to plan for their life and learn to let go when it comes to it. This is why self-discovery is important in helping you determine where you lie. For one, planning ahead enables you to have more control over your life. Life is full of uncertainties and things will often change without any prior notice. With a good plan, you are able to figure out what alterations need to be made in order to get you back on track. You are also more likely to be able to bounce back on track whenever things go awry. Plus, you can still have plenty of fun in life if your plan incorporates engaging in fun activities, traveling, giving back to society, and discovering your passions. However, many people that advocate for a life of letting things flow without necessarily planning for them argue that life is more fun this way. Not planning and going with the flow of things in life allows one to feel more alive. Living life without a plan allows you to get more into reality and the world outside your head. Most people who plan for things in life do so because they have too much going on in their daily lives. And the more they have on their minds, the more they become ignorant of the things happening outside their minds. Non-planners mostly have simple lives and are therefore able to spend more time reflecting on their surroundings rather than on their own thoughts. They're able to experience adventure in a way that planners can't often be able to do. For example, a non-planner will just think of popping into a party and having fun till dawn without the worry of what's going to happen tomorrow. A planner, on the other hand, will have to think of what repercussions the parting will have to them on the next day. Spontaneity can bring you unexpected great lifetime memories and connections that you would never have imagined possible. However, lack of planning can also bring you bad memories. You may find yourself missing out on important things, having boring days because you decided to do something in the last second and it did not work out well, and being thought of as unreliable because you can't always be held to your word. All in all, whichever path you choose to follow, make sure you live the life you were meant to live. A good trick is to do a little of both. Remember, life is all about having fun and doing kind deeds to others. You just listened to the posts titled Finding Yourself Through Travel and Having a Plan or Entire Lack Thereof, both by Leon Logothetis of leonlogothetis.com. Season two of his show on Netflix, The Kindness Diaries, is out now. You might want to check that out. Just have a box of tissues handy because it pulls at your heartstrings. But I'll leave it at that. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for being here and listening to me and for subscribing to the show. 
and I'll be back tomorrow reading to you. So I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.